Can the new Xiaomi Pad 6 beat one of Samsung's favorite budget tablets? Well, today we're gonna compare as much as possible to find out. <laughs> Pricing on these two are pretty similar, although it sort of depends on what country you're from, because in the United States, the Xiaomi Pad 6 is about $400 versus $349 for the regular price of the Tab S6 Lite, but you can obviously find it on sale, usually a little bit cheaper. I'd have to give the slight advantage to the Xiaomi Pad 6. As far as build quality, it's actually very similar to the Galaxy Tab S8, but it definitely feels a little bit boxier versus the more curved edges on on the Tab S6 Lite. I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information on both tablets. Also keep in mind the Tab S6 Lite starts at 64 gigabytes of storage versus 128 for the Xiaomi Pad 6. And then when it comes to the displays on these two, when you put them next to each other, one looks quite a bit better than the other. You've got a 10.4 inch TFT LCD display with 1200 by 2000 resolution versus a little bit larger 11 inch IPS LCD display by 2880 resolution on the Xiaomi Pad 6. Again, when you put these next to each other, not really gonna be that close in person. The Xiaomi Pad 6 looks brighter, has a little bit better, more vibrant colors, just looks better overall, doesn't have any screen bleed issues, and has a better refresh rate up to 144 hertz versus only 60 for the Tab S6 Lite. Battery life on these two are gonna be a little bit above average, lasting over seven hours for the Xiaomi Pad 6 versus seven and a half hours for the Tab S6 Lite. Keep in mind, my testing is a little more extreme usage, but both are gonna have plenty of power to last a day or two with normal use, even more if you turn the screen brightness down. But yeah, if you want the tablet with a little better battery life, you'll want the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Software wise, even though they're both on Android 13, they're definitely gonna look a little bit different and work just slightly different. You'll notice the Tab S6 Lite has the taskbar down at the bottom. You've also got the edge panel over on the side with shortcuts. The notification shade and shortcuts are gonna look a little different between the two as well. But again, since both are on Android 13, you're gonna be able to do a lot of the same things just in a little bit different way. Both also have the Google Discover newsfeed left of the home screen. And even though the Xiaomi Pad 6 works with the second gen smart pen, the advantage goes to the Tab S6 Lite because the S Pen is included at no extra cost. And if you're into drawing, taking notes, or you just wanna use it to move around the software, it's kind of hard to beat the Tab S6 Lite with the S Pen already included. You can also connect any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to be a little more productive on both tablets. The S6 Lite does have a slight advantage though, since you've got Samsung DeX, which in my opinion is one of the better ways to make a tablet feel a little more like a laptop or a regular computer. And then as far as software updates go, it looks like at least three major updates for both tablets, five year security updates for the Xiaomi Pad, probably four or five for the Galaxy Tab as well. And then performance wise, it's pretty one-sided here. In fact, just one look at the Geekbench scores and you can tell the S6 Lite isn't quite in the same league as the Xiaomi Pad 6. And yes, you will notice just moving around the software, how the Xiaomi Pad 6 feels a little smoother, a little faster or snappier than the Galaxy Tab. Sort of the same thing with gaming. The Xiaomi Pad 6 is gonna have a little better graphics and frame rates. Not that the S6 Lite is horrible at gaming or anything, but if you want the tablet with better gaming performance, I would definitely go with the Xiaomi Pad 6. One advantage for the Tab S6 Lite, you've got a headphone jack where you don't get that on the Xiaomi Pad 6. Nice thing is both tablets have speakers on each side with Dolby Atmos, but the Xiaomi Pad has four speakers versus only two on the S6 Lite. They both sound pretty good in person, but you're gonna notice the Xiaomi Pad 6 sounds a little bit better and a little bit louder overall when compared to the S6 Lite. Here's a quick sample of each, just to give you an idea of what they sound like.
Now cameras on tablets usually are not gonna be that good, but when it comes to the cameras on these two, they're actually pretty decent, at least for tablets. You get a little bit higher resolution, 13 megapixel rear facing on the Xiaomi Pad 6, eight megapixel on the S6 Lite, and then an eight megapixel front facing camera on the Xiaomi Pad 6 versus only five on the S6 Lite. Another advantage for the Xiaomi Pad 6, you can shoot up to 4K resolution for video recording versus only 1080p on the Tab S6 Lite. But here's a few samples of each just to give you an idea of what to expect. Now, as you can see, mostly a one-sided comparison here. However, I still feel like some people are gonna choose the S6 Lite over the Xiaomi Pad 6, probably because they want the S Pen included at no extra cost, and they prefer the Samsung software but you can't really go wrong with either one, in my opinion. I know I've got quite a few more comparisons to do, hopefully before the new Samsung tablets get here, so you'll wanna look out for those upcoming videos. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.